guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family also don't forget to hit the like button down below as well as leave a comment because all of those things definitely help my channel grow and I love reading all of your comments I'm not always the best at replying but I definitely do look at them and I my my goals are to reply and I just I just don't get there but I definitely read them all so I appreciate them so much so thank you guys today for you I do have a Dollar Tree haul but first off I want to remember Jay from Frugal Jay and remind all of you if you haven't already head over to her channel give her a subscribe watch her videos especially the ads because that is how she is currently making her money she is just gotten a small studio apartment in Chicago but she lives and has a house and a family and all her things are in Florida and so any little bit that she can have help her out well, she's taking care of her family and being there for her son who was in an accident that would be amazing so head over there she also has a gofundme it's linked down in the description box down below i have flies in my house we just had the birthday party for lorelei over the weekend and that meant the door was open a lot and all the flies snuck their way in and they're still still hanging out so sorry if i have to like swipe at the, at the flies because they're driving me crazy so um, speaking of Lorelai's party, there were a few items that I had to run to the store and pick up right before the party and I never had a chance to haul them. So some things are out of the package and some things I didn't use. So I'm going to share with you the things I picked up for the party um, real fast. I ran in literally the night before to get some tablecloths because I realized that I thought of decorative tablecloths but not table tablecloths. And I wanted some decorative tablecloths to put on the poles of the canopy outside and I didn't pick those up I ended up just using the scraps the parts that I um, cut off the the ones that were on the wall I had enough that it was long enough that I just put those on the poles of the canopy and then so I ended up with some extra regular tablecloths because I bought four oh my gosh there's a fly um, I bought four and I only could find red and purple and white when I ran in and so I got two purple two red and then I ended up just using these for the table. So I did one purple table, one red table. And then when I switched to cupcakes, decorate your own cupcake, they needed tablecloths, but I picked those ones up from Dollar General. They were $1.50 each, same size, and I had a pink and a teal that I used from there um, that I picked up right at the last minute. But we had our smaller tables out and these round ones, they fit fine. They hung over on the sides a touch too much, but they, they worked just fine, especially in a pinch. I picked up tape. I did two of these. All my tape has disappeared. I assume my children are getting into it and taking it because I know I had some, but um, I needed more. So I picked up tape. Uh, I opened the other pack and now I have extra because I needed to replenish for the times that I need tape and I can't find them. I also picked up some canvases. These all reminded me very much of just art. And so I kind of scattered them around the house. Lorelai loves this one a lot, so it's probably going to go up in her room. They can all go up in her room if she decides she likes them enough. But this one was just very, like, watercolor to me. And it had that, like, I just painted this vibe, but I don't paint like this. So I picked it up, you know, from the Dollar Tree on the canvas. And then this one was, like, the swooshes of paint. And I try to get this look, and I can never do it. I don't have this technique down whatsoever. So this was just a perfect find at the right time. And then the same one in blue. So I found all these kind of last minute and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use those for decoration around for the paint part of the paint party because it was a paint slash rainbow party and that helped cover the paint part. Uh, I picked this up, it was in the party section. It's supposed to be a hanging um, doodad. So you are supposed to just tape the string to the top which they tell you to tape a lot of the stuff and I think it's funny but I used it for tabletop decor because it just sat just fine on the table it's a little bottom heavy anyway because of the little bottoms of for the clouds so I use it for tabletop decor just a cute little rainbow and this is what it looks like put together I thought it was super cute they had this one and one that was slightly more pastel-y and I went with this one because I just liked it a little bit more and so that was used as some decoration and when I ran in I also saw this it's just one of their blow up balloons so you got the little straw and you put the little straw in there you blow it up quick and easy one of the clouds on this end struggled a little bit but as soon as the air got pushed through there 
it worked out great. I'm going to put this on the table with her birthday gifts that we're giving to her on her birthday, which is today the day you're seeing this. And so that way she has a little bit of a decoration to go with that. Um, but I like those little tabletop balloon things. I think that they're really cute and a fun way to add decoration. I also picked up the, a set of these little paints. So they are Tampira paints. It came in a set of five and they're in these little tubes. And I did these to decorate, oh my goodness, this fly. I did this to decorate my little red truck that I get from Dollar Tree, or got from Dollar Tree, and um, I wanted some little paints in there. And then now they're just gonna go in my paint stash. I don't know how Tampira paint works. Every time I've tried it, I have not loved it. But maybe with their, in these little tubes, it'll be a little bit better. So I'm gonna use it still. I bought it for decor and then to use later. And so I'll give them a try. Uh, but it came with red, blue, yellow, black, and white. So um, just cute little tubes of paint. I don't know if it's worth $1.25 when you can like, get like the really big ones, but I guess if you only need a small amount of several colors, I think it works great. Same with this. I don't think these are really necessarily worth $1.25, but I wanted this just as some decor. And then I'll let the kids paint with it if they have something they want to paint that have these colors. I always feel like these just dry up really fast. I considered buying these and putting them in the goodie boxes, but... I didn't. I found the um, little palette ones from or no from Amazon instead, and it was more cost effective. But those are cute. They were great for decoration. And then lastly, for the decoration stuff, is I bought the face. I think they call it glitter vase filler. Uh, I got two bags of it. I have two sil cylinder vases and what I did I have candles in there usually and I left the candle in there but just kind of made it fall down so that the front of it has all that otherwise it just probably would have only filled up to like here and I didn't want to buy that many so I just used what I could I kind of have it all like pushed to the front and utilize the candle as um kind of some of that filler too and you can always do like toilet paper rolls in the middle too to kind of fill in extra space but this worked out great so I had two vases with those on this table as well just to bring in the bright colors I just keep waving at you guys because this fly it's like he's been annoying ish today but as soon as I sit down to talk now he's really really annoying uh, I forgot to mention too at the top of the video I have some happy mail that I'm gonna be opening at the end too because I checked my mail my PO box and had a couple pieces of happy mail that were a big surprise in there um, I was excited. I finally found these. I've been seeing people haul them and I can only find so far the tweezers and scissors but I'm really hoping to find the nail clippers too because if you don't know um, I'm getting married, remarried, married again to my husband. We're having our big wedding uh, in August of 2024 and I thought these would be perfect for groomsmen gifts so I'm hoping to find the ones with the clippers like the nail clippers and then there's these ones with the little scissors and the tweezers. So I bought several packs. Initially, I didn't even think about groomsmen gifts. So I bought some, one pie for my husband. And I got some to have for gifts for like anytime I want to do like a, a gift basket for a guy. But then I was like, oh, you know what? I picked up one more after that just so that I have enough on hand. He only has probably two adult groomsmen going to be in his wedding because Braxton and Eric are going to be his junior brooms, groomsmen. And since he is struggling, then I'm just going to have Lorelai as my junior bridesmaid, my very best friend, my cousin, and my other, my cousin-in-law probably be in my wedding. I don't know. It's been, I have to keep lowering my list because my husband doesn't have people on his list and I want an even number. So anyway, these I thought would be really good groomsmen gifts, but I'm really, really, really hopeful to find the clippers too to add to it. I... I'm going to have those fall over. Set them down. Okay. I am looking for Sesame Street stuff for a person. And so far I haven't found a lot. But I did find these two little squishy books. So I'm trying to start a little Sesame collection. Sesame Street collection. I loved Sesame Street as a kiddo. My favorite was Grover. Yep, Grover. My favorite book was The Monster at the End of This Book. It was like my favorite, favorite book when I was... A little and so when um, someone told me that she is doing a Sesame Street themed birthday party I'm like I am so down to keep an eye out for stuff because I never did Sesame Street for any of my kids and they're all too big and so um, as you know I love 
doing parties and so any opportunity I picked up these they are lash glue liners one of my subscribers Carol Carol I think it was you um, one of, I have two Carols so one of my Carols told me about this I think though you said it was magnetic but I didn't see magnetic I just found lash glue so let me know down, 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 down in the comments if it was lash glue that you were talking about. But I will say that the um, cashier, when I picked these up, said that it's amazing. That she totally loves it. She said that it works really well. She has difficulty with her eyelashes and that this works very well for her. So if you do lashes, if you struggle, this would be something to probably pick up and try. So it's black liner and lash glue all in one. I don't typically do lashes. I bought some now and then, but I never put them on because they intimidate me. But maybe with this, maybe I'll give them a try. Uh, I picked up some of their little string lights and pandas because they are too darn cute. And I want to put a disclaimer out there. I know a lot of times I do Happy Mail. I have some times where I have people ask me if I could keep an eye out. And I do try to keep an eye out, but I've had to limit my Happy Mail just a touch because school supply season, two birthday parties and gifts and everything for two of my kiddos, and now Christmas and a vacation. It all was lumped into one. So finances means that I need to kind of like be mindful where I'm spending my money. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there. So I don't always ignore if someone says that they're looking for something because I love to help people look for stuff, but I've had to be very careful with spending money because it's just a lot all at once. Um, I got this little peach keychain for me. I got the strawberry for Lorelei, and then I just decided that the peach was really cute. The other one was a dinosaur, and I don't remember what the fourth one is. Off the, oh, uh, I think it was a avocado, but the peach was just too darn cute, so I picked that up. My husband, though, hates it when I keep putting more and more keychains because when he drives my car, his knees are up really high because he's over six foot tall and I'm only 5'2". And so when he drives my keys, touch his knee, it drives him crazy. Uh, I bought a little black basket. I am putting together a little gift basket for somebody in my life. And so I wanted a basket to put the stuff into. And so I just decided to pick up this black one. I think I would have preferred more of a square or something like a little flatter but this was the one black one that I found when I was looking so I grabbed it so hopefully I can make that work let's see I have one of the broomsticks that you just add all the pieces so if you looked at my video showing the birthday party I bought a mop head and a broom head that goes on this for to make paint brushes I just stuck them on the end of some full noodles to be like big paint brushes as um, some decor but I'm like you know what now that I own those I might as well have the pole and then I can utilize those the the broom and maybe the mop I don't know if I'll do the mop I'm a Swiffer person I use the Swiffer wet jet a lot and then I have a steamer for the deeper cleans but um I thought that it would be good to have this because I also picked up of course it's down at the bottom the duster I was looking for the fan duster but I don't have any fans so when I found this I'm like oh this is better anyway and so this one is just called a bendable microfiber long duster so this bends to be able to get in any shape you need it and it's so plush and fluffy and I have lights that are up high that I need to dust so this will be perfect and those ducks I think they're the the intake the ones that suck in the air just get really dusty my house has a lot of dust and I can't reach those and so I got this because I can use this to get up there and dust and all my light fixtures and stuff because I'm short so I was really excited to find this like I said I was just looking for the one that was for the fans because I'm like it's a duster I don't have to use it on fans but this is even better now that they put that one out and then there's also down at the bottom of my bag of course this one so this one is a cobweb duster so I think this I mean obviously good for cobwebs but like the intakes if it's got like the stuck on kind of dust this can help break it loose and then I can use this to like get it off and dust so and every so often we do get cobwebs we spray for spiders but sometimes those little those little suckers still get in and make their little little uh webs but yeah so this I got too to do some I guess not spring cleaning because we're not quite to spring some fall cleaning 
here soon, but it's nice when you can find all the little tools for only $1.25 each. Uh, they've been putting out these really cool, cute little gadgets, and I was so excited to find this one too. So this is by Chef and Vibe. So it's the same brand that had the little garlic car that I've hauled. But this one is a condiment fork. And so you like put it on your jar so it comes on, oh lordy this fly, like this like circle that you can put it around your jar and they even give you a smaller one in case your condiment jar is a smaller one like olives. And then you can attach the little fork to the side and then it's easy to always get your pickles out. Now I don't like pickles but I thought this was the coolest little thing. Like what a neat little invention. And it's got the little holder right here that holds that in. Like I said, they gave you a small one so you can disconnect this right here. Oh, it's got the silicone. That's what it's called, a silicone band. It gives you a little piece to be able to pull it off and on. Like, wow, what a neat little contraption. And to find it at the Dollar Tree. So I hadn't seen these, I was really excited. So I picked them up because they're just too neat couple boring things. I picked up some more storage containers. Braxton just did a pretty darn deep clean of his room, but he probably can use some more organization now because he has like all his fidgets and all his just little this and that that he was struggling finding a spot for. And so I am going to see if he wants to utilize these. We'll label them like fidgets or markers or whatever it is that he's been trying to find like a little spot for some of his stuff. And then that way we can have them all contained. And when he cleans up his room, he has a spot to put them. So I grabbed four of those. And then if he uses one or some, then Eric has the same problem. He is the next to get the help with the deep clean of his room. So annoying. Like you, you help him, it gets deep cleaned, and then it's a mess again. Like drives you crazy as a parent, but they're kids. And that's how life works. I picked up some of these. So I have been trying to organize like my stash of makeup and makeup brushes and stuff that I buy like in bulk when I find them at Dollar Tree. But then I like I have a basket and it's overflowing so you can't stack the baskets. I bought the pencil cases but the uh, makeup brushes are too long. They don't fit in the makeup cases or the pencil cases. And so I thought these are bigger and they do stack. So I bought four of these to help organize my makeup stash. Um, because I've seen a lot of people use these for all kinds of different ways of organizing and they have the nice little clip. I can use my Cricut and use a pretty font and label like, you know, makeup brushes or, you know, palettes or foundations. And then I will just have like a nice organized way that I can stack up of anything that I have on hand. And then when I need to go look for something, it'll be nice and easy because I can label them on the top and then like on the side and just be able to find what I need. So that has been a process that keeps getting put on hold because of birthday parties and we're about to go to Mexico. We're about to go to Mexico, guys. So I'm going to be pre-recording a bunch of hauls today so that I have content to put out. I'm going to change my shirt because I like to fake it, but I have Take Me to the Beach on today because on Friday I will be at the beach. And I'm so excited, so I wore the shirt to be excited about it. Um, so yeah, but so that organization keeps getting put on hold. Now I just talked about I'm being mindful about Happy Mail, but I'm being mindful in this one. I have a subby and we became friends over on Instagram. If you ever want to send me any messages, if you head over to my Instagram at Amber's to-do list, you can instant message me there and I will typically reply and have conversations with you guys over there. It makes it really easy because in the comments it's not as easy to kind of track. So feel free if you ever want to send me a message over on Instagram. But her daughter just went off to college and she was searching for these shelves to put in her dorm room because she thought that they're the small, right length, has, she has some ideas of what she needs to put on there, but she couldn't find them at any of her stores. And I had literally just seen them like a couple days before she had sent me the message. So I picked her up a couple shelves for her daughter's dorm room because the story just touched me in my heart that her daughter went off to college and and they're all struggling because someday my kids are going to leave me and as excited as I am that someday like I won't have kids, I'm also really sad about it. So I do have a little while though because my oldest is turning 12 and my youngest just turned 8. So we have some time. Alright guys, so I have three books and then my Happy Mail to open. So just a few books I picked up. 
I always love to pick up, up when I see interesting books. This one was making sense, and it's like scents, like smells, and about little dogs sniffing around. It was $15.99 regular price, um, and it looks like a cute little book. It's comic style, which all of my kids like comic style books, and so I think any of the three of them would probably like it, but I was thinking either Lorelai or Eric for this one. And then this is called Charlie and Me. It was $16.99 regular price. Um, I can't remember exactly. It's for ages 10 to 14. 13 year old Martin and his younger brother Charlie are on a very special trip. They're traveling 421 miles all the way from Preston in Northern England to the tip of the Cornwall in the Southwest by train, bus, and taxi. So it just seemed like a kind of a cute book for $1.25. And it's in the age group of two of my children and one getting close. And then the last book I have today is called A Patron Saint for Junior Bridesmaids. And this one is for ages 9 to 12. It was $7.99 originally. I thought this was cute because Lorelai is going to be a junior bridesmaid for my wedding. And so I might add this into her little bridesmaid gift because I'm going to do a bridesposal like gift for my bridesmaids. So... I wanted to pick that one up to add into there. I thought it looked like a cute book. All right, guys, I got some Happy Mail. I'm sorry it took so long. I know the two of you that sent it, it came before I got it, and I went to go check. My best friend gets the emails because we share a P.O. box for our businesses, and um, she's like, oh, I haven't told you you got some Happy Mail, or so you got mail, I think. Have you, when was the last time you went? I'm like, I have it. It's sitting here. So I went and checked right before the party, but I had already done my hauls and stuff. And so I was like, first thing this week, I wanted to make sure to share them. So this one came from Melinda and Melinda has been amazing to me. I remember a little less than a year ago, you sent me a bunch of flamingo stuff for my flamingo party. And so I pre-opened them just at the top so that it's easy to pull the stuff out during this. But um, I have not opened. I tried. I tried to take a sneak peek, but you wrapped everything individually, so I couldn't even cheat. So in here we have the rest of the stickers, because these are all over the package. You can see them on there. And then on this side too. I love these stickers. And then a card that says, Everyone needs a friend like you. Amber, you make the world a beautiful place a more beautiful place just by being who you are thank you your videos always bring a smile to my face you are thoughtful so thoughtful i hope you enjoy the few gifts to say thanks for being you thanks Mel or love melinda thank you melinda i didn't tell you that i got your gift or your package i sent you a comment but you you know so i got a flamingo pen look how cute and fluffy she is i love all the flamingo pens that dollar tree puts out and then a pineapple pencil sharpener. I will have to stop my kids from snatching this one from me. They like the little um, battery operated one, but how cute is that? Then we have very cutely wrapped in some tissue. Cute. A donut drifter. My uh, coffee bar right now is donuts. It's about to change for fall, but this will be cute. I could just set it on my coffee bar because it's the whole donut theme. Super cute. How pretty oh I have to take these to Mexico I'm taking dresses and stuff because we're staying in an all-inclusive resort and there's some restaurants they tell you that you need to kind of dress up for I'm making sure to take some dresses with me look how cute these are <gasps> okay one hand at a time so you can see oh my gosh they're little flamingo earrings with little tassels for the legs oh those are precious Oh, those are so cute. I love flamingos, palm trees, and pineapples. And I love coconut flavored stuff and smelly stuff. I haven't put earrings in for a minute. This one wants to argue. We, we won't fight with that one right now. I gotta just force it in there. Oh, so cute. All right. 
This is fun. It's like my birthday, but it's not. <gasps> and there's pineapple ones. Yep, I'll have to pack these with me to go to Mexico. Because, you know, it's on a beach. So that's tropical. Oh, these are adorable. Look how cute those are. Super cute. I love this. I was just drinking um, a coffee this morning and it was sweating all over the place and getting on my nerves. This is a perfect. And it fits the vente, which is the size I like to get when I get my Starbucks. Oh, this would have been perfect today because it was my, like, we have just enough moisture in the air. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much, Melinda. Oh, I love this. I will be using this all the time in my car. And I'll take it with me when we go to Mexico because it's rainy season there, so I assume we will have a lot of humidity. Oh, that is so precious. It has, like, everything I love on it. All on one, one little cup holder. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Thank you. All my favorite things. Those are, like, all my favorite things. All right, and then this one came, too. And the box got me very first thing. Like, how cute is this box? Like, that is the cutest box ever. This is from Celeste. Celeste was the person that I got my very first piece of Happy Meal from ever being a YouTuber. And it's, like, so surreal when that happens. And so every time I see your name and on your comments, I just always, it makes me so happy. So it's wrapped beautifully. So you just open it and you put some tissue paper. And then there's a card in here that I love. It's so fall inspired. I love this because all my favorite summer things were in one package and then now we have pumpkins and fall things that are my uh, my favorites for the fall. So it says life is lovely and so are you. Your stickers are beautiful. Look how cute this card is. I love these ones from Dollar Tree. So said, just wanted to send you a little something pumpkin to add to your fall decor. Hope you enjoy and have a beautiful fall season, Celeste. Thank you, Celeste. I love it. When I get home from Mexico, we get home on the 31st. So that the first week of September, I plan to decorate for fall. So some gummy bear stickers. I picked up either one or two packs and I've been too afraid to use them because I'm afraid I'm going to run out. So now I can actually use some of my gummy bear stickers without that fear of running out of them. Cute. and then some of the Nomi stickers for fall. Are these the same ones from last year or did they change them? I just love it that they have the little coffees. So two of them have coffees. He has like coffee and chocolate chip cookies. Are those the same one? I feel like those are different than last year. So cute. So, so cute. Cute. There are some little fuzzy pumpkins in here. I love these. Guys. Look at this mug. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so cute on my coffee bar. I'm doing a pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie coffee bar. <gasps> That's so pretty. And then look on this side. <gasps> I love pumpkin spice. It's Ray Dunn. I honestly don't think I own anything actual Ray Dunn. I have some like knockoff things, but I don't think I have any real Ray Dunn. I always love it and I look at it and I never pick it up. Oh, this is going to be so cute on my coffee bar. I am so excited to put my coffee bar together. Thank you, thank you, Celeste. Thank you so much. So this is going to be a toss-up. Like, it'll sit on my coffee bar, but then I'll have to use it, wash it, and put it back. Because this is the perfect size coffee mug. Look at the pretty green on the inside, too. Thank you. Thank you, both of you, so much. I appreciate both of you so, so much. Make sure I don't miss anything. Um, I appreciate all of you so very much. I don't need gifts to appreciate you. I appreciate you all very, very, very much for being here. Again, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Um, hit the like button as well and leave a comment down below. Um, I can't wait until I see you guys next time. I've already told you I'm going to cheat. So we'll be back here in just a couple minutes recording, but you'll see it in a couple days. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.